Hey Aries, so I'm here with your mid-month um, spiritual reading. Um, this is for Aries anywhere in your chart. <laughs> if you have Aries anyway, anywhere in your chart, anywhere, like any north, south node, north node, any of your planets, any of your placements, this parts of these um, the messages will resonate for Aries. Okay. If you are interested in booking a personal reading, I do 30 minute and 60 minute readings. I would suggest if you guys want to get it in now because starting January 1st, my prices are going up because you know. Um, also, if you're interested in purchasing a spiritual bath, you guys, let me know. Spiritual baths are good for this particular one. It's good for ushering in the highest, most energy of self-love. Um, it'll be good for cleaning your auric field, for washing away any energy that is not aligned with your higher self, and to also help you detach away from um, uh, karmic shit, soul ties, sexual stuff, if that's what you want, okay? So if you're interested in purchasing that, let me know. Also, I have some prosperity um, and evil eye bracelets. I'm selling them for $5. You guys, I was selling them for 10 but I'm selling them for $5. If you're interested in that, let me know, okay? Aries... The song that came in, and I don't have my phone over here to play it for you guys. The song that came to me, you guys, um, for you, um, for your energy is Jewel. The song is called Intuition. So you guys are probably needing to listen to that song, okay? Let's pull a uh, Everyday Witch Oracle card for Aries. Aries. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Give me one card for Aries, please. Alright, Aries. Give me one card for Aries. There we go. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you very, very, very much. Okay, so the card that came out is Give Into Passion. Ooh, I like that. All right. Mm -hmm, I knew it was fire. All right. All right, Aries, here you go. Make sure you guys can see. Okay, so it says, there are times in life when the best thing you can do is to give in to passion. Whether it is the fire of a new relationship, the excitement of creating art, or simply the joy of spending a day on the beach under the heat of the sun, it could be uh, good to let yourself go and just be. As long as whatever you are passionate about is a positive force in your life, as long as it's positive, okay? Love or creativity or just plain fun. It is important to occasionally stop worrying about being practical and simply follow your bliss. Do something today that gives you that burst of energy and satisfaction. It doesn't matter what it is as long as you are doing something that sparks that fire in your spirit. If you love to cook or bake, do that. If you are a creative person, work on your art, writing, or whatever it is that you get the most pleasure out of creating. Does helping um, other people bring you that feeling? How about digging in the dirt in your garden or flower bed? Do that. Even if you... I'm sorry, even if only for an hour, half an hour, if that's all you have to spend. Or you know there's always sex. That uh, that counts as passion too. Oh. As long as you're doing it with the right person for the right reasons, Aries. Light a fire in your mind, body, and soul and revel in the gifts of the element of fire. Damn it, I like that energy. Aries. Actually, sex came to my mind when I first saw the car. <laughs> All right, Aries. So let's see what the messages are for y'all. Aries, what are the messages? Put that right there. All right, what are the messages for my Aries? Oh, that Empress card is not going nowhere. Okay, so off the rip, you know the Empress is about creating. It's about that fertile energy and planting that seed and doing, you know, and 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 and, and that sac. Oh yeah, sacral. This is giving me very strong sacral energy. So a lot of you guys are needing to tap into your um, creative side. Really, it's time to create something, Aries. Step outside of fear, which I don't really get that from Aries anyway. But it's time to create. Yeah, that Empress ain't going nowhere. Mm mm. Mm mm. 
Some of you guys could be also uh, creating a new life soon. So if you do not, you are, you are very fertile right now, Aries. Uh, so if you don't want to do that, then, you know, take the proper precautions if you're exploring your passion. Uh, okay. Hey, babes. What's going on? Mommy's doing a reading. Uh, okay. Give me a minute. We're going to make some hot cocoa. I'm going to make you some hot cocoa. All right. So what are the messages for Aries, Divine Holy Spirit? What are the messages for Aries? Thank you. Nine of Swords, Four of Wands, the Hermit. Let's put this down there. What are the messages for Aries? What are the messages for Aries? What are the messages? Thank you. Okay, what are the messages for Aries? Give me one more card. Okay, give me one more card for Aries. Aries. Oh, that's too many. Oh, God, no. Uh-uh, that's too many. Give me one more card for Aries. Aries. Almost. Aries. All right. That came out upside. I said that. So at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the King of Pentacles. This is about um, stability. For some of you guys, you're, in, you're moving into a season where you're more stable. I'm talking about with your emotions. I'm talking about with your environment. Um... trajectory trajectory like the way you see things like you're not as affected like that i don't know if that makes sense to you guys this is also an increase um your stability your financial stability is is, is yeah you good um so we got the nine of swords so for some of you guys excuse me it could be this energy of um either a cycle or a season or something coming to a completion and there may be some anxiety around that for some of you guys you have a let's clarify this clarify this nine of swords yeah my cards don't like me all right Ooh. lovers clarify the four of wands a house is not a home clarify the four of wands communication somebody is not like I don't like a, a little lack of confidence or about something clarify this hermit and needing to go within about something because you're in your head clarify the eight of cups mm -hmm. clarify the eight of cups please thank you three of pentacles and then let's clarify the eight of wands clarify the eight of wands some of you guys could be opting to do something on your own instead of being open to like some type of partnership or some like, I don't know. This is a lot. Let's see. So some of you guys have anxiety or like anxious thoughts in regards to a um, soulmate. This soulmate could be anyone. It doesn't have to just be wrong. Y'all see this shit? <laughs> All right. So it doesn't have to be necessarily a romantic situation. Um... It does. Okay, they say it does. It doesn't. It does. Oh. I feel like also like this energy of conquering your fears. Oh, for some of you guys getting over like your thoughts, like consumed, over consumed thoughts in regards to um, a soulmate. For some of you guys, your twin soul, your twin flame. Your four of wands, your stability, the page of swords, realizing your worth for some of you guys, if that makes sense. Um, realizing your worth, conquering, conquering, like swords gives me those thoughts like, oh, what is this four of wands? Miss? This is something to do with some type of stability, like long-term stability. But I don't feel like with money. I feel I don't care. I'm gonna say just how I am, how it is. I feel like it's like something of conquering your fears, conquering your fears when, when in terms of something that could be very stable for you. Going into hermit mode, if you need to go into hermit mode, 
right? Getting that spiritual insight, getting those spiritual downloads for some of you guys. There's some, for some of you guys, you're really in your head about something. It could be really in your head about a Virgo for some of you guys. Or somebody who comes off like, or you could be in your head about somebody if they're not a Virgo. This person can really, they're they to their self. They really stay to themselves. So they can almost damn near live like a hermit. <laughs> This can also be um, you guys moving into this energy. For some of you guys, you embody that energy of a hermit. So you're coming out of that um, cycle in which you would just let your thoughts kind of take you over. So it's bringing some a lot of you're 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 experiencing a lot of balance for some of you guys. And then we got the Eight of Cups. For some of you guys, move turning your back on a, a water sign. If not that, then this is healing through some emotional baggage for some of you guys. It could have to do with a third party situation. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't. I'm just saying. I'm just. That could barely be for like one person. What the hell is this? Okay. Shooting your shot for some of you guys. Standing up to your fears, getting over like some of you guys done shadow work. Some of you guys doing that shadow work has helped you get over your fears. For some of you guys, it definitely helped you get over some emotional baggage, period. Some of you guys, and this could be for like one person, um, some of you guys wanting to um communicate with somebody and just just taking the chance like okay fuck it i'm just about to send this text i'm about to send this email i'm about to send this you know whatever com however whatever way you're choosing to communicate to someone and you're just stepping out of that energy of just fear and, and overthinking and just move you know what i'm saying moving past that if that makes sense yeah it could have to do with an aries or this is your energy Oh, stepping into your power, Aries. Okay, now the Emperor. Going with... Okay, what's going on? Oh, I'm slow. This is a counterpart. This is the... Listen. Lord have mercy. Look at this, y'all. This the, the Emperor and the Empress. Now, for some of you guys, this has to do with balance. You're balancing your feminine and your masculine energies. Because I believe Aries is a masculine sign. So this is balance. I feel like a lot of balance. Possibly your moon could be like in a feminine energy. Like feminine sign for some of you guys. You could be an Aries sun watching this. And then your moon is like an, effeminate, like an effeminate sign. You know if that makes sense. Four swords going within. After Okay, okay, okay. Oh, here we go. After you go with. After you harness your power. Get back to who you were. For some of you guys, this is getting back to who you were. Or like getting to your ultimate, like some your ultimate hierarchy, if that makes sense, right? You go within, you do your meditation. Some of you guys are really going to go deep within meditation. Like you're really going to take the time to really meditate because you need them downloads. Like you don't want to make any moves in regards to any situation in your life unless you have the proper know-how on how to execute it and the proper like you 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 need like you, you like 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 um going to your spirit guys and making sure like okay this is what i'm supposed to do like for some of you guys that's what i'm feeling because you made your decision on somebody you've chosen somebody you've chosen a situation you've chosen how you want to execute something you choke you're like you're choosing you're choosing up for some of you guys right and then you're going to take your um you're going to um, execute your moves towards the Empress. This person could be a Taurus or a Libra, or this could be the mother of your children, or you could be the mother of somebody's children. Take the energy, you guys, so it can go either way. It's flowing. It's flowing. Okay, flow with me. So um, this could also meaning this is you moving towards your creative side. This is you mo mo uh, moving towards executing 
your desires, executing a project, executing a business for some of you guys. Take it how it resonates. This is going to be a progress. This is a progressive energy, meaning like this is not the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Swords where you pum you off. This is going to be something that's because is is longevity longevity attached to this. I mean, it's going to last. But you know, I won't say forever, but it's going to last. This is like taking your time. Like there's no need to rush something that you know is long standing. You see what I'm saying? So that's the that's the energy I'm getting with that. Okay. But this is a counterpart. <laughs> now, this very well, cause like I said, it could be your masculine and your feminine energy. But this feels like two people, like, slowly coming together. Like that. All right. Let's see what's up, Aries. All right, what are the messages for Aries? What are the messages for Aries? What are the messages for Aries? Thank you. Religious factors. Oh, dang, Kim, I'm, I like that girl. Okay, but what's this? Okay, so. Okay, all right, it's a lot going on. Well, not really. Oh, oh, okay. So some of you guys, you or somebody you're dealing with in regards to their spiritual beliefs, the religious stuff or whatever, like you could be dealing with somebody who is the complete opposite of you. Somebody could have been raised very strict. Excuse me. As to like somebody's like somebody is somebody's end all be all. But the one thing they just can't like is we're so different. Like when it comes to religion or spirituality, like somebody feels that way. And that's not a deal breaker. Nothing is really a deal breaker unless somebody is just sick. But I'm talking about two high vibrational people. Nothing is a deal breaker. Romantic feelings and codependency. So like, you know, there is a lot of love and definitely a lot of strong emotions when it comes to a connection that some of you, oh yeah, that's a lot of passion, y'all. Some of you guys might as well just want to do what you want to do. Because some of y'all want to do what y'all want to do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to... Um, some of you guys could be dealing with either you or somebody could be dealing with some type of addiction right now. I don't feel like it's nothing, you know, gross or nothing like debilitating. But there is some type of codependency of what addictions or some of you guys. Somebody does have codependency issues. Like somebody, somebody could be healing through the energy of the want or the need of needing to be in a relationship. Okay. Um, somebody is going to spend or somebody is wanting. Now, some of you guys are actually going to be spending a holiday with somebody who you really want to spend a holiday with. And some of you guys, this is the energy right now. You know, somebody, oh, somebody could be booking something too. Somebody could be trying to like look online to book something to take somebody somewhere. Right now, that could be the energy for sure. Ooh, somebody might go to Italy. Somebody wants to go to Italy. And um, somebody's going to pick up the phone and they're going to reach out after they book some, some stuff going on. After they get some situations together on this end, here they go. They're going to reach out to their love because they're ready. Somebody feels very angelic, like uh, just floating on cloud nine, like, I don't know, in regards to somebody. Anyways, Aries, that is the end of your reading. I hope that this makes sense. I, I think it does. So. so I love you guys. Are you interested in a personal reading or you want to purchase a spiritual bath or a bracelet? Hit me up, you guys. I love you guys. And I mean it. I love you guys. Peace. Take care.